Jeff, given the state of John Blake's shirt, I assume there was some celebration in the clubhouse after the game? We had a toast, yes. Um, and we did, yes. And I, I believe in, in, in celebrating moments that are important, important to that group of guys inside that clubhouse and what they've accomplished uh, to this point. We're not done yet. We're not done at all. We still have a mission to, to accomplish and, and something that is, as, as a group of players we all talked about in spring training when nobody else was talking about it but us. And I believe in, in, in acknowledging that for them. Nice toast, a few words, and, and some excitement. It's important. What, what did you think of Derek and how important is it was it for him to get back on track here? Oh, I, I thought Derek was was really good. He pounded the strike zone down early. He came out the, the first three batters, the three strikeouts. You saw all the stuff. Um, I think he gave you know the the pitch to Pujols was up, but other than that, I, I felt like that, that Derek threw the ball very well. The, the ball came out clean. Uh, the breaking ball showed up again. The changeup was there. And more than anything else, it was a life on the fastball and, and the command and the ability to move the fastball around. And uh, very important for Derek. Uh, very important for, for not only him, but this ball club also for him to, to, to come out and, and, and pitch a game uh, fairly clean, to give us an opportunity and, and, and to do what we did tonight. Derek, Jeff, as you mentioned before, you had Josh for outfield defense, the catch he <laughs> made in the second inning. We don't know what will happen if he doesn't make it, but does that tell you that he's able to run full speed, able to play the outfield now? Yes, and there was uh, a couple of catches the other night that showed us that. And we feel like that he's, that he's been moving, moving around well. And that, that, was, that was never really the, 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 the question. The question was is the, the con continue to, to post up and, and, and how well he, the, the knee held up and and how it felt the next day. And, and he slammed into the wall pretty hard. And, and so to hold on to the ball to get back up and actually made a, a good throw, it was a good transition. It was a close play at the plate. And uh, what also the, 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 the swings that he took and uh, the ball that he drove straight away center field, that, those are things that uh, are important for, for Josh and, and for this ball club as well. That we've got him back in play, it's, it, it's pretty special. I know you're not done, but a team that was at the bottom of the American League a year ago is going to the playoffs. What does that feel like? <laughs> it's pretty special. Pretty special for that, for that group of players. Again, I, I've said it a number of times, and, you know, I, I was offered an opportunity to come to an organization that had some storied history that, that has been to the postseason and been an out away from winning a World Series and, 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 you know, had an idea that I could come over here and, and, and add some value and, and, and help a, a group of guys get back on track, but uh, quickly learned that, that it was a group of guys in there that wanted to help me out also. They wanted to challenge me every single day in, in, in my own skills and in leadership, and I love every one of them, and, and there's no quit in, in any of them. Um, even coming out of spring training and at the end of end of, end of May when when everybody was ready to dismantle and move on and, and find another team to root for and there was a group of guys inside that clubhouse that, that, that stayed on on course and had a mission and like I said they're not done yet it seemed like in that fifth inning you guys had a pretty good run of excellent at bats from beginning to end Yes, we did, and it, it, early on the the at bats and <clears throat> looked a little anxious, a little quick, and wanted to get 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 the the work done a little too quick. But we settled in and in, in the middle innings and put together some at bats that were uh, that gave us enough runs to to, to be able to hold on and, and and get a W. But yeah, it was and really truly it was the veteran guys that that showed up in the middle of that lineup that really put that 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 scoring opportunity together. Yeah, Banny, we all know that uh, Beltre puts up big numbers, but uh, what are the in intangibles he gives you just by refusing not to let you not put him in the lineup every day? 
<laughs> I've said it before, he's the toughest guy I've ever been around and and probably the one of the just the best human beings I've ever I've ever encountered and and what he means to to that group of guys in in, in inside that clubhouse and what he goes through and what he puts himself through to show up every day and to be right in the middle of everything we do is it, it, it extremely special. Evan? I wanted to go back to Derek for one second. You, you talked and said it was important for him, but does it give you a sense of reassurance about him? Well, I had reassurance all along when everybody else was ready to, to jump off of him and uh, worry about him a little bit. And I, I've gotten to know Derek this year and and just know where his his competitive nature is and where his resilience is at and, and and like I said this is a guy that has poked and prodded me and challenged me and told me he wanted back and everything he could do to get back and w saw what he put himself through to to get back in, in, into the mix and um, there was I told you before I didn't I didn't have any doubt that he was going to show up big tonight